Because I am working in the timeline a fair bit, I'll hide the info palette and increase the size of the timeline. As we have seen before, I can show the info palette whenever required here. Right now, I'd like to work on the first clip. When I play it, I can see that towards the end it is zoomed out. This zooming out is something I would rather not have, so I would like to shorten the clip here from the timeline. I'll zoom out to the overview of the timeline. When I get to the end of the clip with the mouse, then I can see that this square shaped bracket appears, and if it is pointing to the left, I know that I can edit the endpoint with my mouse. So, by clicking and dragging, we can see in the left preview screen the last shot in our clip, and I can move it to the left until the zoom section is no longer there. I can watch it here, and yes, I can see that the zoom section isn't there. What has happened automatically is that the clips that come after it have been shifted to follow the trimmed clip. And that is not something that is self-evident, but depends on the timeline mode I am working in. And in this case, it is the function here, the set ripple mode, which is important. If I deactivate the ripple mode and shorten the clip some more, a gap appears between this clip and those following. The following clips are not moved automatically to follow your edits. If you work in the wrong mode and end up with a large number of gaps, I can easily close these with the option of clicking between the clips in the gap with the right mouse and choosing Delete Gap. The gap is then closed. I'll undo this and get back to the previous situation, and I'll trim the beginning of the second clip. And I can see that again we have a gap, unless I activate the ripple mode, and then we can see that when trimming no gaps appear, but the clips are butted up to each other. So if you don't want any gaps between your clips, activate the ripple mode. You can see in the status line here which mode you are in, and I can see here that the insert mode is active, which was this button, and the ripple mode is also active, and as we have just learnt, that is this button here.